What's up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the second version, and in my opinion, a little bit uh, more effective version, uh, but it also requires a little bit more skill um, to user catch on the goal line in Madden NFL 25. Now, remember, we talked about last video how the fade uh, that we talked about a couple of videos before that works really well, but once you get inside the 10 yard line, you'll see here uh, that the fades just aren't that effective. Uh, typically, a good corner like Sherman will be able to shut down those 101 fades. So we instituted this strategy of motioning Decker out on a curl route and then pass leading to the inside, clicking on and making a user catch uh, by just bringing him to the inside just a, sm a smidge. Uh, so you want to motion him out, click on, and then uh, take him to the ball. And there, I threw it a little bit late, but you guys hopefully could uh, watch the previous video for some background, guys. It's just the previous video on this playlist. But... Today's video is focusing on a solo receiver and not having to use motion. And so what we're going to do, guys, and I think a lot of you guys probably expected this. I don't know if you did or not, but uh, the comeback route is actually what we're going to be using today to beat uh, a majority of defenses down on, near the red zone. Okay, so what we're going to do here, uh, we're just going to make a couple of hot routes. Uh, what I like to do personally is place Barino on that wheel pattern just in case, you know, they may be heavy pressure or something. I have to throw it quick. I can hit that wheel pattern. But then what I want to do is I want to place my solo receiver. Uh, here you see Demarius Thomas. I'm going to place him on a comeback route. Okay, so you see the comeback route right there. Now what you want to do is you want to snap the ball. You want to wait till he gets about five yards down the field, and then you want to just bullet pass it. You don't really need to pass lead it any specific way. You just want to bullet pass it, and then you're going to click on, and you're going to swerve him to the inside and try to make a really nice catch here. Let's see if we can get this to working for you. So there you see it. And there you see the uh, user catch. He actually dropped it, but uh, it, it's all about it's all about giving him a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. And if you throw enough of these guys, I'm telling you right now, uh, you will have success. Now let's take a look here. Uh, so it's literally all I did was I snapped. I waited till he ran about five yards, bullet past the throw. Then I clicked on the receiver. Here you see I've clicked on. I just swerved him to the inside. I held the triangle button, and you see how he got that really kind of get up boy, uh, big boy uh, basket catch kind of animation which was uh, one of the hardest animations to get in Madden 25. And here we'll do it again. We wait about five yards and there I, I cut off a little bit too early there. Uh, but basically you're trying to uh, you're trying to do that over and over again until you guys get it. Obviously, it's going to take some practice to get used to. I mean, I'm, I've ran it a couple hundred times, and I'm I'm still struggling. But there you see it, and that's that's exactly what we're trying to get. Um, actually, head on to it this time. We'll take a look at this in this replay. See, see what we did right. Uh, first and foremost, notice where he's at when I throw the ball. I think that's the biggest thing. So let's just watch Peyton Manning. You see he's about – he's actually um, – He's actually about six or seven yards down the field when I throw the ball. Okay, so you see that uh, he's almost—I mean—he's almost to I mean, the goal line at this point, and I'm throwing the ball here. I, I, I'm getting ready to throw it. I'm throwing it right here, so about five, six yards. Uh, you want to initiate your throw again. You want to just run a regular bullet pass. You don't need to pass it in any specific way. Here you'll see I'll click onto him as soon as possible, and I'm just going to swerve him to the inside and make that really uh, beautiful basket catch animation. Uh, it's probably my favorite animation, and part of the reason I like it so much is just because it looks so cool. Uh, you know, it may not be quite as good as spacing or mesh or whatever you want to run on the red zone, but I think it's a very nice way to kind of at least give yourself a shot uh, because I know one of my biggest weaknesses right now uh, was actually in the Mutt Head tournament. I in a game that I should have won, I had the ball. I just couldn't pound it in uh, with four carries for Jerome Bettis with 99 or 101 trucking. I couldn't pound it in, uh, so I needed. I should have had something like this prepared. Unfortunately, I didn't. Now that I do, I'm sharing it with the community and uh, letting you know. But basically, you're wanting to snap the ball, wait about five seconds, pass it to the inside, and there you see we get that nice basket catch animation. Now, does this work against zone? I've tried it against some different zones, and it actually works uh, fairly decently against zone. You want to do the same exact steps. Wait till he gets about five yards, throw it up, and there you see you get that nice little big boy animation. That was the cover two sink that we just threw it against. Here we're going to throw it against a cover three, and we'll see if it works. Uh, but basically just throw that in there. And uh, that time we, I think we lobbed it, unfortunately, and didn't get the proper passing animation. But basically, um, you know, it, it, it takes a lot of repetitions, guys. I mean, I've, I've been doing this, and there we go. We got intercepted. And I think that's the first time I've been intercepted trying this out. But... Um, you know, you have to practice it. It's it's kind of important to practice. It looks like cover three is kind of shutting it down a little bit. Uh, I kind of mainly practice against cover two and cover two man under on the red zone because I feel like not a whole lot of people are going to call cover three. There you see we actually got the animation. Uh, we just couldn't get to the football. Uh, here we're going to show you a cover four. It looks like cover three kind of slows it down, uh, but cover three is very weak in other areas of the field. 
looks like the cover four even stops her. So maybe maybe it is the deep blue by the corner, and 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 maybe our fix to the deep blue by the corner, you know, is to is to kind of go a little more inside. There you see the animation, and that was actually against the cover three. And so I mean, you kind of kind of work it based off the defenses, but that you really want to try to get him as inside as you can here. I, I mean, it's all the same setup. See, I click on it, I get him way inside. And you see that he actually gets the animation. So you, you really want to try to get as inside as possible, I think is what we're seeing with these uh, different uh, defenses we're running them against. Here you go inside. Uh, try to get inside. You just, again, the goal is to get inside of the cornerback. Here we're going to take a look at another uh, defense here. Get inside. I make the user catch. Obviously, uh, sometimes if you don't have a high catch and traffic receiver or whatever, you're going to uh, have some difficulties uh, throwing this this route because you need that high catch and traffic uh, to be able to deal with defenses like that. And there, I actually that would have been pass interference in the game. You saw Cam Chancellor kind of chuck me, but guys, this is just uh, basic user catches. Uh, but I really wanted to share it because I think I think a lot of people don't do this route, and I think it's very effective, especially against two man under, and especially against cover two, which is in my opinion the two most popular defenses that you see in the red zone. So make sure you add this uh, to your repertoire. Uh, in Madden, make sure you practice it as well. Don't go. I mean, you see me. I'm, I'm struggling with it as well. So I mean, sometimes the timing is a little bit uh, difficult. But don't just trot out into a regular, uh, you know, online match and expect for this to work 100% of the time. Obviously, you have to put in the time in practice mode, and then you'll get the results, guys. So that is this week's tournament tip. I hope you enjoy these tournament tips that I'm trying to bring to you uh, as I'm preparing for the tournament. I hope to prepare you for the tournament, and uh, I hope that we can just kind of grow the tournament community back to what it uh, – actually, never to what it was, but what it should be uh, as a nice community, opportunity to grow, but opportunity to get better. And uh, here you guys see that user catch is pretty – Pretty nice, and I hope you enjoy it. Again, it's not the best play in the world. It's not the it's not an unbeatable user catch, but it is something that I think that you can get a lot of value out of, and I think that it's actually worth worth at least one shot in the red zone. So check this user catch out, out guys. And if you like this type of content, uh, you may consider checking out my channel. My subscription button is in the bottom left corner of your screen. Thanks for your time.